On the water, every second counts. So when there's a fish at 3 o'clock, be right on time with Mega 360 Imaging. Every sweep of our newest technology offers 125 feet of absolute clarity all around your boat. So you can see fish and every detail in every direction. With a clearer picture of what's below, you can catch fish like clockwork. Mega 360 Imaging, only from Humminbird. All right, and welcome to another edition of the Spring Fishing and Boat Show. Um, we are, we actually have two guests that are coming on together. And, uh, you know, in, in some of the other segments, we emphasize that a lot of what our exhibitors that we take a lot of pride in, and we're going to, we're hoping to bring even more of these um, bait builders, but in this case, uh, product builders. Um, and these two guys have done so much with a product that is homegrown right here in Canada. Um, they've done so much with um, with the tournament scene, being involved with different groups out there. Uh, you've seen it every year at our show, regardless whether we're in Toronto or at the Kawartha show or wherever we are, they're always behind us. And, and, and you know, they need to know that we're behind them too because we're really proud of them. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Geiger Tech and the people behind the scenes, I guess, is the fact <laughs> both of Tim Fernandez, Brian Hi, guys. right there. Hey, guys, how are you? Hey, how are you? It's, uh, so this is actually a bit of a treat because we're doing their interview right in the shop, and they're going to show you millions of dollars of equipment that uh, produce all <laughs> the, uh, and, and you know what? You know, Tim, we talked really briefly prior to this, and we'll get into yep. probably detail, but like, you guys distribute worldwide. Is that correct? Yeah, that's correct, Andy. Um, you know, I've been working with Brian uh, for a few years now. And, uh, I mean, I met Brian. Uh, actually, I won uh, a couple mounts at, at a, a BPS Open that you were running. And uh, that's how I met Brian way back in the day. And uh, I actually approached him uh, about a partnership and said that, you know, I can I can help you take this product globally. I mean, he makes the best products. I mean, the, we'll look at some of the quality of the stuff. And a lot of the guys watching probably run it already. But, um I felt that, you know, we could, we could take it globally. And, uh, and, uh, we went down to, actually you were there too. We went down to ICAST and we were showing, you remember that. And uh, we actually ended up, yeah, we had, we had a lot of fun at the uh, Brazilian steak place and all that, but, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we always got to throw the food. We have to throw that food factor in it. Because, yeah, exactly. I, mean, I enjoy that. It's like, that's, to me, I enjoy just good company. Right. So. Absolutely. That's a big part of business. Right. So, um, so anyway, so, uh, and we were fortunate enough to attract, you know, people like Fast Pro Shops, uh, Corporate, and uh, Humminbird in particular, globally. And uh, yeah, and they're, uh, they're actually our, our, our biggest customer now. We ship thousands of, uh, of mounts to them every, uh, every year. Uh, last year, we shipped, I don't know, 5,000 mounts or something like that to them. Our universal mounts, um, you know, they recommend us to their customers if you call their help desk. So they've been a they're a partner to us. Um, you know, we've got stuff obviously for Mega 360, and we've had Mega Live for a while. So there'll be some stuff announced on that. But they're uh, they've been an amazing partner. Um, and uh, yeah, so we sell globally to them and as well to uh, to customers. We ship to Romania, Hungary, uh, Russia, everywhere. So all over the world. All over the world. So yeah, so a little. We're just a couple, as you said, homeboys, and uh, and we've been really fortunate for the support. I'd be shipping myself in a box to some of those places. Yeah, I know. It, but, you know it's, that's, for um, another show. that's for another show, Andy. You know, I, I, and I, I love the chemistry. Just so you know, I think that, um, I think it's important that you have that, you know, where people can focus on. That's what growth is all about. You need to yeah. have, and, and the thing is, there's really no fat here. It's run really, really lean. Because I know how hard you work. And that's yeah. be straight up and saying that. And I know how hard the guy behind you works. So I'm actually surprised yeah. the machines are actually going right now. And I apologize because they probably should be going. We I shut them down for you. You wouldn't be able yeah. to hear too much if they were going right now. So I know, dude. And that's why I, I apologize for making you turn them off. But like, in all fairness, like you know, I remember going to Crisco's shop, and you know, uh, Brian was kind of like, you know, kind of like, you know, joshing me around saying. Oh, dude, we got something really good coming, like, you know, this and that. But he wouldn't tell me what it was, right? <laughs> and, uh, you remember that, Brian? You remember yeah, that? Day? I don't. You didn't know what it was till the first day I was at your show. I don't think till setup. Yeah, I, it was pretty good of you to keep yeah. that secret from the guy that supports yeah. you the most. But that's okay. 
No, it's not, <laughs> not kind of getting me into the fishing business at the start. Your show was the first one we ever went to yeah. and kind of played a beat to create a product, you know, where there was a demand. So, yeah. Dude, and, and I remember, I remember that it was a busy booth, dude. Like you had all the guys there. Um, and, and right off the bat, it was a good, like the, the thing is with, you know, Tim, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, but like a lot of times you'll see product come out really like really strong at the beginning where you'll see product like that is is built so good at the beginning and then once it gets its credibility it starts to become more of a production and how to, yeah. your, your face is half on half off so turn the okay, camera much better so we can't we is, can't get the technology to go this way look what happens yeah, no, okay. <laughs> I, 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 maybe we get you guys to uh you know build a, a, a proper arm for yeah, yeah yeah you know, but like it's it's the thing is is like you know you guys could start developing in, in in uh china you could start developing in mexico you have the orders it's not like you don't have the orders but um th those machines work um 24 hours a day all right yeah and, right. and the quality is 100 percent still there like um the same you're still using the same type of st same amount of steel you're not chintzing out on the thicknesses and no and, we you know. use we use only like the best certified aluminum we can use if anything our quality's only gone up as we've started to make more because now we're able to invest in better machinery more automated machinery more repeatable processes so mm -hmm. Anything our product just keeps actually getting better and better and better. So, yeah. And Andy, you, know, you, made, a, you made sorry, Andy, you made a great point though about um, keeping it on shore, and that was an important part for Brian and I. That you know we're proud, we're proud Canadians, we're proud fishermen. We, we fish your series, and uh, you know we believe in investing in, in Canada, and uh, and quality is first, right? I mean, it's going back to the analogy about restaurants. I mean, you can't, you know, sometimes there's a little bit of a weight for our product, but we feel yeah. that if we put out a product as best as we can do it at least if someone waits for it like a good restaurant when that food comes and it's amazing you forget about that weight so that's the same kind of um, methodology that we have the best quality product that we can make uh and we and we make it here we're in aurora ontario right down the road from you right now um and we both live here and we both work here i been, i think i've been there a couple of times i like how yeah, shiny maybe. It yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> you know but the yeah. chemistry the chemistry is good because like um, like we said earlier, you know, you can't like nowadays people want the best value for their dollar. And mm -hmm. at the same time, it's not like you're paying people for just sitting in the office. Like you guys are both hustling. To, like every time you're going somewhere, you're going to like, like where, where are you traveling this year, Tim? Like maybe turn a camera just a little bit more towards you. Yeah, where, you go. Yeah, so, so, uh, where, where are you traveling this year? Obviously you got the Bass, you got the Bass Masters class going to come. Yeah. Years. Yeah, thanks, Andy. Yeah, so, um, and then this is an invite to anybody who's watching and uh, uh, anybody that's heading down to the Classic. We're booth 2745, um, and we'll be down there in a couple of weeks. And uh, we always have a booth, and we're really proud, as you know, to have all of our Canadian friends come in there. So uh, heading there in two weeks, and we're coming back here for the, for the Peterborough show. I mean, we're doing your show today virtually, and the Peterborough show. Then we had uh, actually flying down to go. We got invited to... Uh, Major League Fishing's Red Crest, which is their um, equivalent of the Classic. So I'm going to head down there to walk it and check that out for next year. So we may show at that one. They they saw that we sponsor uh, David Duddy and Cody Myers in that series. So they'd like us there. And then we head right after that, well, actually in June, down to ICAST. And then uh, and that's it. And then we'll repeat it. Hopefully, if everything stays open, we'll be doing that rotation. And then I think in November we may go down to Amsterdam or over to Amsterdam. That's always a, a fun oh, trip. That trade that'd show is good. That'd be a great trip. Wait, yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great. It's a great place to do business. <laughs> you know. Um, you know what? I'll tell you. Um, you know the the quality is huge because not. You you fill yourselves up with hummingbird, and which is that right off the bat, uh, very reputable com uh, company. What also we work we deal with we work with. Yes. Um, so I don't think they would associate themselves if the product wasn't worthy. And and because like you know electronics nowadays is just not it, it's it's not cheap, right? But no. you're getting so much more value out of those electronics. Mm -hmm. So the thing is 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 with that being said protecting them and ensuring like it's unfortunate sometimes you know what but we've heard nightmares where you know you're in rough water all of a sudden there goes your first yeah. goes your fish finder <laughs> and you know and it's like it's 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 the mounting pro you guys do a lot more than just the mounts you guys also do like the 
the whole uh, dash mounts as well too. You guys, you guys get yep. pretty creative and and all that stuff. Plus, you guys are also making the uh, engine um, engine uh, transom savers. Transom savers. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And 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 that's huge because like for whatever reason, the manufacturers always tend to have your motor way up on an angle. Yeah. Like, right? <laughs> I don't know why. But am I wrong? And so I, I I I can never understand that. That's not putting anybody down. They're all the same, right? So maybe there's a reason for it. I really don't know, but I kind of yeah. I like that that little transom saver you guys got. Do you got one there? Do you have one there? Or no. Uh, you know we have part of one. Yeah, they're in the warehouse right now, Andy. Um, we can show you here. I'll take you for a quick tour. Yeah, uh, take us for a tour. Take us for a tour. Uh, Brian, Brian's gonna grab it, but you can see. So this is where we manufacture. So if anybody uh, hasn't been here and is curious to the the inner workings of the shop, um, you know all the stuff that we make is is. I mean, this is the part of someone's stack mount. I mean, this is the same if anybody's watching live right now um, or the weigh-in with Mercer. Uh, these are the same stack mounts that, you know, Zaldane, Corey, Chris, uh, Fighter, all those guys run. So here, Brian's got the uh, the stack mount, or sorry, the tran trans trans saver, saver there. It so, doesn't have the end on it yet or the pins, but this is... This is it. And actually, Brian's kind of showing you. Here's, we're going to give... The, this is the new one. Yeah, we're going to give you a sneak peek here, actually. There's some... Uh, benefit of logging into the two of us <laughs> so if you go the wrong way yeah, yeah. But, but so we're starting to do you can see this this is like a candy candy gray um like we've got it. some yeah really yeah, cool powder, ones powder coated yeah so turned out pretty good chris and Corey have um uh they're running orange corey has got his orange one on and then chris has a red one so uh this year we're coming out for any guys that are interested in in um in the transom savers we're coming out with uh, different colors uh, and uh, we're going to be doing, because I'm going to Yamaha Skeeter, uh, we're going to have Yamaha uh, transom savers, obviously, this year, and hopefully Suzuki as well. Wow, nice. Very, very nice and clean. Yeah. I, I like I, that polished look. looks really, really hot. I'm not going to lie to you. Yeah. I, th I think we can probably work a way to get a, a couple of them on, your, uh, on, the, on the, the release boat. So, you know, because <laughs> we, we, support, we support your series, and we're proud to do that, so uh and what a, what a great way to you know test the durability i mean i know uh that boat travels all over ontario so it's uh we'd be proud to have them on there so um so your stuff right now in in i guess toronto I, I, we'll talk about the fishing show guys because they're the ones there so you got pro jays is carrying all your stuff right yeah okay you got fishing depot carries all your stuff right yeah yeah um, does nelson do you work with nelson as well and at the national sports so Andy, just I'm sorry, the, the static is back on the mic. Can you hear me okay? Yeah, we can hear you fine. Yeah, so there's static, but I, I think I heard um, you were asking uh, about who carries our products locally. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we've got uh, Lake of the Woods, we've got Jasper Pro J, we've got uh, I mean there's a, a bunch of them. Fishing Pretty, Depot, Fishing Depot, Brian. Brian uh, there's orange. That's the same one that Corey Johnson's got on his boat right now. Really orange. Really orange. It's so he doesn't forget it. I know he's not watching, but <laughs> blue. There's, there's a. Uh, this candy. one is really, really nice. Yeah, that's candy blue. That'll, candy blue. that'll go on Brian's boat probably that's this year. Absolutely incredible. Yeah. That's so, incredible. so we're doing a lot more colors. I mean, we we've, we've got the plating process down really well for uh for clear. Everything is clear anodized. Like this is raw, but then we send it out to uh to to coat it so it's more durable and it's harder. But now we're getting into all these colors, which uh, which guys want, and and I mean, so, so do I, right? I mean, we're a fisherman as well, so we build a lot of this for ourselves, and then uh, and then uh, take feedback from our customers, and then we uh, roll it into the product line. So that's some uh, new stuff there. So that's a bit of news to share with you, Andy. And then one other tidbit that we didn't touch, we touched about uh, touched on all the uh, pros that we sponsor. They're on our list right now, but we're proud to announce here on this show that we've signed Lee Livesey. So that's not public yet, but he's, uh, he ran our stuff last year. He wasn't on our team, but, uh, Lee's, uh, uh, graciously agreed to join, uh, the Geiger tech, uh, Marine products, uh, pro staff team. So he'll be listed shortly and we're excited and proud to, to have him. And, uh, that's, uh, that's breaking news. Sorry, Andy. How, how many pro staffers do you got now? And who are oh them? man, we got a lot. Uh, we've got here in Canada. Oh, and just quickly, just want to say congratulations to Bob. Um, uh, really proud to uh, to call him a friend. He's on our pro staff as well, and we just want to congratulate him on an amazing career so far. Um, we all know Bob. He's uh, he's got a lot of, of of new things coming, but uh, 
just I remember growing up, uh, you know, I was immigrants to Canada. I remember a little boy watching uh, uh, the real fishing show uh, Saturday morning. So a lot of the reasons why I am here today talking to you is because of uh, because of Bob. So I just want to do a quick shout out to him. Um, the only show I ever. Watched. Yeah, yeah. He's he's a, he comes to our Christmas party. I mean, he's a friend, and uh, I I'm, can't believe I'm saying that. You know, he's a he's an idol as well. So um, we got Bob Azumi. We have got JP DeRose um, here in Canada. We got Seth Fighter, Chris Zaldane, um, Chris, and Corey. Chris and Corey, obviously, uh, David Dudley, uh, Cody Myers, uh, Lee. Lee, yeah, Lee Livesey. We've got, uh, uh, we started last year into the National Wildlife uh, Tour. Um, so I called Skeeter um, and asked them, uh, and Humminbird, and asked them who their best Skeeter, Yama, uh, Skeeter Humminbird Pro was. And it's uh, uh, a guy running a uh, uh, big Skeeter WX. So we're proud to have him. He's in the walleye tour. Who else do we have? Um, uh, I think that's it. It's on our website, but we've got, we've got an amazing staff yeah, field. Cool. Zaldane, if we didn't mention him. Um, but yeah, we're really proud. And, and again, uh, um, yeah, I'm still trying to get a sponsorship, but uh, I, I don't quite make the cut. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, hey, tryouts at the same time every year. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, what's good about it is that you guys are giving back. Right. And uh, yeah. you know, you know, you're all giving back. And yeah. uh, that was a big thing. You know, like um, I was good friends with Chad, Chad uh, Spence from uh, Strike King Lures. His dad was the, uh, was the started that all out. And yeah. as that business uh, started and it started to grow, 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 you know, um, Charles was, was getting, uh, getting more and more pro stuff. And, and it was, he gave back to the guys that helped him build his business. And, yeah. and I see you guys doing the same thing. And I really respect that. Because I know that it, it costs. People don't appreciate how much it costs. Yeah, uh, it's expensive. Also, so, yeah, it gets very, very expensive. So, um, but um, it shows that you guys are doing well. So I'm, I'm really proud of both of you. Guys. Really important. Yeah, you know, yeah, and then, and yeah, Brian and I are really lucky to have each other because, I mean, we both have our strengths, and, and it's nice when we align on everything. I mean, when when there's a a charity or when it comes down to you know. Uh, uh, you know, products, you know, prizes for your series, um, you know, anything like that. We're always aligned on, on giving back. Uh, we sponsor Unity for Autism. Uh, you know, I've sponsored that for a long time. And, uh, you know, we continue to sponsor that um, uh, uh, foundation that, that helps uh, autistic children. So, yeah, so so we will sponsor anything. If anybody watching that has, you know, kids tournaments, uh, anything like that, you know, please uh, just reach out to us. We're always uh, looking to give back in any way you can. I mean, as you said, it's expensive, but but you know, we all need to, especially in these times, to to help as much as uh, as much as we can. So we're proud to do it. And as I said, yeah, I'm lucky to have Brian as a partner because we we uh, you know we align on that really well. Well, guys, you know, I I really appreciate you guys coming on and 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 just kind of like you know giving us a few minutes of your time because you know. I've I've always been proud of your product because I just I, I don't you know what I just there's a few guys that build in this in here you know I like I like their their builders and and you guys are builders right and uh, I'm, I take a lot of pride you know I feel like I'm, I've been around since the beginning almost like I'm a part of it um, 100%. And I'll be the first one to say it you know what when you are spending the money you're spending on your electronics nowadays you need to protect it. And it all starts with what you're mounting it on. So yes. it's, it's 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 unfortunate sometimes, you know what the what you're mounting it to, doesn't doesn't you know, you know, but the strength within the mount on both ends, if it's done on both yeah. ends properly, you'll never ever ever lose anything. So um, the question is is like I know you love your ice fishing, dude. like I know I, you know you love your ice fishing. So um, <laughs> the question I have for you is is like when will we start seeing Geiger product like i, I kind of seen something but i'm not sure what i've seen but there was yeah with geiger tech <laughs> and, ice fishing, and i'm like what is that and we're yeah. ready for the ultimate ice fishing show is he gonna spill anything i don't know like hey, he, not yet there, you there's yet? some <laughs> there's some so we have we have products right now um you may have some you know uh, i guess on my instagram stuff spills out i mean my boats are always test boats brian's too but uh um, and obviously the Yamaha, uh, is a, is a test machine and, you know, we're testing stuff for, for ice fishing, obviously. I mean, half the year it's frozen here, so we may as well make products for it. Right. So we have, we have stuff right now that can be used, but, uh, you'll see probably within the next 
uh, pro probably not for this year. I mean, products, just transducers, rice fishing are in yeah. shortage, short, uh, or short supply. So you'll see something probably in the next couple months, I'm guessing. Uh, uh, we've got prototypes made. They're being tested. You'll see, you'll see some stuff and maybe one will show up at your show. Um, so you know, uh, you can maybe see it would be kind of cool. You know what I yeah. Mean? But, uh, yeah. Yeah. You know, you know what? It's good to diversify, you know, diversify and get into different. Absolutely. Uh, like even us, like the, the ultimate ice fishing show is kind of, it's a void that we're missing in our, in our business. Yep. We have the spring fishing show, which will continue. Uh, we yes. have our tournaments through the summer, but at the same time, you know, it's almost like we need something in that fall uh, era. And, and, you know, yeah. when you look at what's happening in the States, you look at the, the St. Paul stuff down there, it's huge ice fishing, you know? So we're, we're, we're thinking that that's, we want to make sure we bring a high quality style show yeah. that's going to make people happy. Yeah. So, yeah, and and you can count us in on that, Andy. We'll as, as all your products, our shows will be uh, will be there supporting because we will we will have we will have products. And again, it's important as you said to diversify. So um, you know, a half half the continent's frozen. We do a lot of business in uh, Wisconsin. I mean, ninety percent of our business is in the U.S. It's just the U.S. is you know ten yeah. times bigger. It's three hundred million people. Yeah, it's a huge market. But we're proud Canadians, and uh, yeah, we want to support you, and uh, and uh, obviously other Canadians. And so, you know, we'll be at that, that ice fishing show and we'll have product and we'll be there to support our partners that are there as well, our dealers. Well, I appreciate that, dude. One way or the other, you know, if you can't, we appreciate that too, but we really, really appreciate everything you're doing. I'm looking at a machine behind you that's flashing. I oh, sorry, Andy. Oh, yeah. It's, no, no, it's saying I need to work. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, no. But Brian's got to take a break. He's working too it's hard. Okay. It's Saturday today, Andy. But Andy, like, um, do you have a sec for us? Just I know we've been going long, and we're happy just to show people around the shop and some of the yeah, machines. Yeah. Are you are you good to take go a few ahead. minutes? Do you want to see yeah. it? Just a couple of minutes. Go ahead. Look yeah, here on. I'll turn it on, Brian. Hang on, so you don't have to look at my uh, aging face here. Let me turn it around. Um, it's not a good angle. Okay, I'm going to turn it around to the front, and Brian, give you a tour here. Hang on a sec. All right, here we go. Oh, hang on. I shut it off. Settings, camera, camera facing back. There it is. Who is yeah. that? <laughs> is he there? Yeah, there he is. All right. Yeah. Who is that guy? Uh, <laughs> so kind of. So this is sort of how it works. So everything kind of comes in through the back door. It starts out as 12 foot bars of aluminum. Basically, these are solid. Some of them are really, really heavy. Giant. There's my that looks super heavy. So this is going to be uh, stack mount bases stack and bass cat risers. Bass yeah, risers. These, these are for bass cat. Yeah, risers. yeah. New product. So it all comes in right there. It starts here. It goes onto the CNC bandsaw. So this is all like uh, automated saw. Like it pulls it in through here, so it's fully automated. That's this cool. thing's super cool because in the old days you had to cut each piece individually by hand. I remember this that. Machine, now we just we punch in a link, we punch in how many parts, and we get finished pieces off the end of it. I don't know if you can see me or not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So you get the finished parts. Then we come over to these two machines. All these. Oh yeah, there's all top finished parts. Yeah. So we come over to here. This is a four axis mill. So and in this machine is where we prepare the material for the next the next steps usually. So it goes on to a fixture like this or like here. And that weighs so that's the base for our stack mount, anybody that has it. Yeah, like this, this thing a, probably weighs like three pounds. Three pounds still. Yeah, this is like a started base. This this we'll see the other machine after we'll do that one the later. Sure. But this is it goes from this to this to this. And then these ones aren't finished yet. They get the angle cut on the back glass. Yeah. So a lot of process just in the base. This is our newest machine. And I don't know if you can get it all into the shop kind of. It's pretty big. Yeah. But this is a five axis mill. And this thing is super cool. It actually has a robot attached to it. That's this other half of it. So this is automated. So the parts don't go in through the front door like a traditional machine. The parts actually kind of go in from here. So we load the machine here into the automation cell and the material is prepared. It goes onto a fixture. And when it comes out, it's about 90% finished at this point, which is really, really nice. This machine will run 24 hours a day. It runs when we're not here. And it's really hard to figure out how to do, but now it's pretty good. It works well.
I helped a little bit. Oh yeah, Tim helped. Lots of words of encouragement. <laughs> he filmed, like, kind of just film up in it. Maybe. So this is like, um, this is a pallet pool, yeah, right? it's a pallet pool. So like, for anybody that doesn't know, and, and I just learned this, but like, it's like a, it's like those old style machine guns. It's like almost like think of these pallets as like I don't know, like a clip almost. So this yeah. thing, can you hear us? Yeah, yeah, we can yeah. Hear okay. You. So this thing, those are all different parts. So like over there for extreme or for mega mounts, those are pro mount arms. Like, so this thing, while we're all sleeping, it, it just runs and it, it loads. Doesn't, it. it doesn't stop. It's yeah. Usually not sick. It doesn't miss Friday. Yeah. And then, and then it comes in all those um, kind of cartridges, if you will, they come through this door right here. And then they come into this machine, which is a five axis machine. Um, and then it's all like computerized here. So wow. Brian's starting it. We'll see it can spin. It can move. So you can see how it's rotating. So that's the mill yeah. there. And that's these are these are the universal um these are our mega mounts. So these are 360 arms. Well they're it's a universal mega mount. So this can be used for 360 or mega live or any other products um that are forward facing sonar. So this is where they get done. This is where they start, yeah. Yeah. Very sophisticated machine. The machine will actually check the parts to make sure if they're good. It'll check the tools. It's really, really cool. Very automated. Our transom savers, all the different colors, kind of laid out. Pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. That's going to look good on my board. They're all the test colors, so we'll see how these piece hold up, but they're doing good. We have another 4X over here. This one's dark inside. It's not turned on for you guys today, but... So everything we do is all multi-axis so that means not like your basic three axis mill anymore we make the parts um i guess like you know in the least amount of steps as possible if we can put the part in the machine once these really help to do that so yeah cnc lathe this makes everything that's around so all the pro mount bases all the stack mount bases extreme mount bases knobs any stuff like that gets made in here so another really important piece of machinery yeah, and that's kind of it. Our tools set up. We have lots of tools. Way too many tools. And way too many. Owl's assembly area. Owl's <laughs> so yeah, so these are all like um, bridge mounts. So guys that like bridge mounts, these are all the new, the new style bases. Legs. So we're going to have a whole bunch of inventory soon. Kind of getting put together. This is where we do all of our assemblies. This little tiny portion area. Yeah, and then it moves out of here into a warehouse. So that's why we really don't have too many finished products in here. Um, and quite frankly, a lot of it gets sold right a, right away. But so you can see, this is just a long view of the shop and just the investment that it takes. And, uh, you know, it's a slow process. I mean, even just to get a new machine in here. I mean, if we were to put a new machine and tear down that wall, the offices are back there. You can imagine how much work it is to move that machine, that machine, and then put it over. So just the simple machine move is... Uh, you know, it could be two, three months before we get another one. So it's a, it's a long process and it's, you know, but it's worth it, you know, and, and to your point earlier, Andy, like we're not, we're not going offshore, you know, we'll, we'll continue to make a quality product here. It's, you know, it's not the cheapest product, but you can see why. I mean, that's why we're investing in the machine. Yeah. You know, it's automated and yeah. really, really accurate stuff. So yeah. we can keep making everything here competitively. Yeah. And make a better quality product. I mean, the product's, I mean, Brian's amazing at what he does. Um, and the, and the quality of product is, is world-class. So, you know, we could, we could, could we make it cheaper? Could we go offshore? Sure. But then we're going to be like everybody else. Like we're really proud. Uh, we're proud to do uh, the best product that we can make at, at a fair price. I mean, you, you buy it once and you screw it to your boat and it'll last, last a lifetime of your boat. And that's kind of our, our business model. So I think um, this, uh, I think this, this whole, overview of the business has really created like a, a better understanding and, and you really think of like the costs of news because they're really not that expensive um like the reality of it is you're getting a deal because um you know when what you don't realize is like how much waste of material there is oh, that's so the in the process yeah and when, when you're oh. getting there it's a <laughs> we, really you're getting a great deal up, like 50 gallon drums every day these big giant drums so can you see that? these are all the metal chips so yeah most of what we do is probably 50 to 75 percent removal so that means that bar that we start with 75 percent of it's gone and it turns into little tiny chips at the end yeah versus just pieces of steel like yeah 
you know? So that, how, how heavy is that? Probably weighs almost 10 pounds when we start. And this is the part that's going to weigh three pounds when it's finished. Yeah, that's huge. People, and, and you're buying that by the pounds. So people don't realize, oh, wait, no. you know, what the yeah. costs are. So it, it definitely gives you a different perspective of yeah. uh, the investment in it and the fact that you, well, hey, um, when you first moved into that unit, Brian, like, would you have two units, two, yeah. two machines in there, right? Yeah, we had and, three machines when we moved in here. We had um, the one mill here, the VF2 we had, and we had yeah. a smaller mill and we had a really small lathe. And in the last three years, we have everything basically brand new now. With yeah, the addition yeah. of one more machine, and that's the wall hopefully coming in. Yeah, so we got a, yeah, another machine coming in. Um, you know, I think we're up. From the first year, um, by my numbers, we're up like six hundred. We're up six hundred percent. Like it's, it's so where we started to where we are now. I think it's more than that. But uh, um, yeah, we're you know we're growing as fast as we can. Um, we understand you know there's challenges sometimes getting the product, but you can see you maybe get a little bit of a sense as to what's involved in it and how much work it is and uh, the investment. So you know we'd love to triple in size, but. Uh, I mean that's millions of dollars, you know, already here and and you know. Yeah, you got to keep it real good. You got to keep yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, we we you know we believe in our organic growth. We and, try to do what we can with the space we have. You know, we're yeah. pretty yeah. efficient and like I mean, look look this thing up the, on the internet. The this, size of this machine is like this thing's probably twelve feet tall. Yeah, and it's like twenty feet long almost. <laughs> See, Brian, oh. Brian's like Brian's like a giant guy, but look at this, Andy. I could crawl in here, right? Like, look, like <laughs> and, and it's still like. Look at this, like way up here, right? Like so. To, like, Brian's here. Here. Office, yeah, right? get close to the top of it. Brian's seven feet tall. He makes fish. He looks. He makes fish look small. So anyway, but uh, hey, if I was fast, I'm always holding there like six, seven pounders. So. Yeah, please. <laughs> easy there, easy there, shooter. You know what? I'm telling you, I think you're going to lose your office, Brian, because I think you're going to need that room for. No, we are. Room. We're, we're losing the office. A hundred. The office is going upstairs now. So yeah, yeah, I believe that. In the process of cleaning this side, <laughs> we're about to do a renovation. This wall is going to be gone, and there's a new machine coming to where the lathe is, and the lathe is going to the front of the building now. Wow. Well, Some more breaking you. news. I'm honestly very proud of you and more proud of you every time I see the, the you know, how innovative and, and you know, you're, it's not like, dude, you're, 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 it's a tight procedure. Really? Not like you got, it is. you know, one it's, corner. It's fun. I like it. You know what I mean? Like, I truly love this. So to yeah. me, it's fun every day. I come in here and we get to figure out how we're going to make this and solve the next problem. And Dude, I, I love the fact that when I can't sleep at night, I know I can come to your shop and you're working. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's someone always here, right? Yeah. yeah. I'm always here working, Andy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, I, I think you guys are fantastic working together, and I think that Thanks, um, together, I think you guys, uh, you know, there's going to be a lot of uh, mountains you're going to climb, and, and uh, yeah. you know, obviously yeah. worldwide already, and, and uh, hopefully it gets bigger and better for you. And uh, you know, how can I say? I think I think it just takes a little bit of time for all the guys to it realize, does. you know, yeah. how good the product is, right? So, um, yeah. and, and I'm sure there'll be more developing products, especially in the ice fishing world. Um, and yeah. <laughs> as well as other stuff too, right? So, but yeah. uh, again, I want to say from the CSFL standpoint, I appreciate everything you do for us because I know you give us and you take care of our tournaments, you know, how you do, but it does, it's not just that, dude. Like, I, I, I've called you guys so many times for when we have to do a donation and I've asked you guys to participate, and you guys never even think about it. It's like, yes. And I'm like, you know, I don't even know how to thank you for all that. I, I really appreciate what you guys do. Thanks, Andy. Um, you know, the the arm to help us with the you know get through this COVID with the camera. You know, yeah, the tiger. The guy, the guy, the guy, the guy. <laughs> like, you know what? That was like you know, yeah. We bought the arm, but then it was like, how do we get the camera to where we need to be with the tournament guys? And you yeah. know what? Was, you know, we spent the whole night there, Victoria, myself, and and you know, we figured it out. We cut a little, and you know, it was just like. It just felt like you guys wanted to help us, so it, it we, a, we do, and we, we always do. Thank you for everything you do. Without the show, but, Andy, we wouldn't probably be doing this right now. Yeah, so, so it all that, it all that started. Was the start it was your show. Yeah, and well, I want the mounts. I want the mounts in your tournament, so <laughs> that you were running. So I mean, really, you've been a part of all of this, right? So. Yeah, right. We well, make sure you guys. Well, you, Vita, 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 really, but I mean you. <laughs> no, that's true, but 
for all the guys that are watching right now, if you're a CSFL guy, make sure you're buying Geiger Tech product because it's the only way you're going to be entered into some draws that are going to be, you know, at the end of the year rewarded again. And, and again, thank all the guys on both ends. So I yeah. just want to say thank you very much for taking the time out. And Thanks, Andy. It. Yeah. You. yeah, we really appreciate it. And we appreciate you and your family and all you do for us. And uh, yeah, we're really proud to be affiliated with you uh, and your organization. Well, thank you very much, guys. Well, well, appreciate it. Um, you know, I just want to say thank you. Like, you know, I, I've said it over and over again. And if, if you follow, some, if you get onto some of our channels on nighttime where we're, we're doing it, uh, interviews on the CSFL channels, um, it really means a lot to me when I see what we call, um, what we call like these innovators, these builders and um, these bait builders, because this is, it's not a bait builder, but they're a builder that's homegrown that are now becoming a, um, a manufacturer that works within, you know, with, with huge companies. And you can't think that these huge companies are putting trust into something that they don't believe in. So uh, I'm sure they've had to go through all different types of tests to make sure that their product was uh, quality enough to maintain that. And to think it's right here in our backyards. And that's the best part of it. And it's very inexpensive. I like the color. Like some guys like that. I like that. I think it's pretty cool. Like I, the blue would match my boat. So I think I'm going to have to ask for a couple of blue uh, motor trends and uh, savers. But I can tell you right now, guys, keep up the good work. And next year and or sooner, the Ultimate Fishing Show and next year's Spring Fishing Boat Show, we'll see you there. So thank you for tuning in, everybody. And stay tuned for many more. Every day on the water is a blank canvas. You can reach new waters and ride endless waves. So drop the hammer or the anchor and let adventure be your guide. Mercury engines are made for exploring. So are you. Go boldly.